of these grains. Should I get these sets of grapes? Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I'm back at the Goodwill Benz, yes, for another treasure hunt on this brisk, cold, windy day. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Well, that was really strange. The wind just stopped and the sun came out. It was a little chilly in Knoxville and windy. It's nice here. Hopefully we can find some good treasures. The other day, I didn't come yesterday, but the day before, it was so good. I found some good, good vintage. Well, I wonder if they just brought these out because everybody's over here. I'm thinking they just brought the glass bins out, but I'm not seeing nothing. Ooh, this might be pretty. This might be left and nope. Look at these grains. Should I get these bits of grapes? Maybe, maybe. They're not old. Oh, well, they're a little bit older. I'll get these. Okay, so apparently, I'm like, it is so busy in here. What the heck is... They brought out the glass bins, but, like, right before I got here. And right before I walked in the door, apparently there was a fight. Like, a physical fight where somebody was bleeding. Because people were fighting over, like, tools or something. I don't know. It's crazy. What's this? That's a wooden elephant candle holder. But I don't like the way that it looks cheap. It looks really cheap. Like the glue, you can see the glue all around the tusk and stuff. So, I guess I got it in here at the right time. I didn't have to deal with that drama, the fighting, because I would have been at the glass bins. I would have been right there. And I don't like that. It gives me anxiety when people fight. Vintage buttons. Treasure bag. Treasure bag. Oh. Made with a little poker chip. It's 
cute. Mm, it's not cute enough. That is rough. Rough shape. I remember these from when I was a kid. You guys remember this? I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick that up just in case somebody remembers it from their childhood and they want it. That's a good brand. I'm gonna look that. I'm gonna look that bag up and make sure all the zippers work because it's a really good brand. a vintage fishing lure in its package. Think about that. Usually I give the fishing stuff to Jim if I, if I find the fishing stuff. So I'm going to probably give that to Jim. Rad. All right, they're taking away these old hard goods. Going to bring up some new ones. Whose part is this? Here's new bins. I wonder what it's going to roll out in front of me. This is a skateboard. So out of the new bins, I found this giant Mickey Mouse Pez dispenser from 2003, and it was originally $25. That's pretty cool. I'm going to pick that up. I think that's neat. New in package. Broken. Oh, that's one of those jewel pictures. Tiger made out of jewels. Those diamond, you know, the diamond art thing. That's cute. It's a little backpack for a girl. A little horsey. Cute. Look 
what my friend just found me. He's big. He's a real big rubber face plushie, but he's so cute. He's got a little bit of wear. I can't leave him behind. He's adorbs. This is so cute. It's like a glass. It's all made out of glass. It's like a glass ornament. I think that's adorable. I think that's supposed to go in there. Yeah, I'll take that glass ornament. With the rest of my treasures that I have down in there. See what else we can find. There's a bunch of stamps. Like if you're into stamps and scrapbooking and stuff like that, definitely check out your local Goodwill bins to get stuff before you buy it new. So you can always probably pretty much find what you're looking for for scrapbooking stuff usually look at this purse someone made out of jeans it's really really heavy it's funky <laughs> i don't know what, like they, why they made it so heavy but they did and it's sticky now look i got glue glitter glue on my fingers Look at these. These are cool. There's two of them. They're from The Lion King, the musical, with their tags. Still have their tags. Probably not worth much, but they're cool. I'll look them up just in case. No, they're only listed for about $10, so they're going to stay behind. Look at that old movie. Oh, look at this old binder. Please be patient. God isn't finished with me yet. That's adorable. It's like a three ring binder and it is marked. But I'm gonna leave it behind because I don't know if anybody would want a binder. Here's a Super Mario. Here's a vintage perfume. What is it? A-E-R-I-N. I don't know. I should get this and start working out at my house since I don't go to the gym. It's got good songs on there and you can dance. That's so fun. I don't know. If you don't like going to the gym and you like to dance, I mean, you can ha do it at your house, have a workout, have a workout party. Look at this giant Bart Simpson doll. He's like probably almost 20 inches tall. He's got a plastic head. He's a big guy. He's fun. math box flashcards well i think i'm about done for the day it's kind of a slow day in here i got a few things in my cart not much so let's go check out and get right into the hall Okay, guys, we made it home from the Goodwill bins, and I ended up spending a total of $12. That's it. I didn't get a whole lot today, but what I did get was pretty fun. So let's get right into the haul. Uh, first up, I picked up this guy. It's a big, giant, like, Monchichi. It's a big one. See? He, like, sucks his, he sucks his thumb. He needs a cleaning. His face is a little dirty and stuff but he is so stinking cute you guys know i collect these but he's a little bit big so he's gonna be up for sale he's gonna be up for sale in my next live sale he's so cute he does have you know like i said he needs a good cleaning and he's missing a finger 
but that's okay. He's still so cute. He doesn't have any tears or anything like that. So, adorbs. And then I picked up this. It is a giant um, new in the box Mickey Mouse um, Pez candy dispenser from 2003. And it was originally $25 from the Disney store. This is super cool. Very collectible. Awesome, awesome piece. And then I got three sets of grapes. Now, at first, when I first picked these up out of the glass bins. Come on. There's three different colors here. When I first picked these up out of the glass bins, I thought they were like the newer ones, but they are not. They are older. There's the sticker on the back of one of them. So there's this one, this pink set, and then this different color of shade of pink. And they are like the plastic, like the, I don't know if they're Lucite, I don't know, but they're cool. So three of them, I think they are Lucite, I think they are, but I don't know. And then a matchstick um, metal box. I picked up a green one the other day. Now I have a red one, so I'll just sell them choice in my next live sale. I tested this when I was at the bins, plugged it in because they have a tester there where you can plug things in to make sure they work. And this did totally vintage crimper. So that's pretty cool. I already have one. So I'll probably go ahead and sell this one. Because who doesn't want a crimper, right? I mean, people go to 80s parties and stuff sometimes. Then this beaded purse, it has a little bit of wear here and there, but you know, it's, it's old, it's vintage, it's missing its handle, its metal handle, but I like the design of it. So that came home with me, this, oh, this is so cute. See, it's new in its package. Look at it. It's a Santa in a pink Cadillac. I love it. Double-sided, so cute. New in its package, Christmas ornament. A whole bag of vintage buttons. I'll pull some out and show you. I mean, there's all different kinds in here. There's even a, a patch with buttons on it. But there's, I mean, there's several different, several different ones, all kinds from like, Tigers, Chuck E. Cheese, um, Chester, Connecticut, um, one from 1992, a Civil War event, whatever that is, you know, like, there's several, several, I'm try some of these. Came undone. I don't want to get poked. Whatever that is. I love to sew. I mean, there's it's a whole bag full. So there's so many different ones in there. Call all kinds. And then stuff for a treasure bag. I don't know if all of it will go into a treasure bag, but we'll see this vintage um, game from the 80s. A vintage troll. Little mouse. This fun garland with um, peacocks on them. Different painted peacocks. 
pretty easy. I don't know if this is Bakelite or not. I think it might be, so I picked it up. Because <laughs> I know some people like Bakelite stuff. These little people. These are so cute. They're older. Little angel trinket box. Metal trinket box. A tooled leather wallet. And it still has its original tag. It came from Silver Dollar City. So that's fun. A photo album. Vintage little tiny photo album. A belt buckle. Vintage belt buckle. This is so cute. It's a glass. Was that a dog or a cat? <laughs> I don't know, but it's so cute. It's glass. Vintage patch. And last but not least, a little Wedgwood plate. It is marked Wedgwood on the back right there. Pretty cool. Or is it an ashtray? I don't know. It's got divots. I have no idea. But that's my haul, guys. That's everything I got. Like I said, I only ended up spending $12, so I don't think I did too bad at all. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything you're ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well, too. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.